Eric Fromm said, the essence of life is not in the answers, it's in the questions. Now, there was a debate on, on that several years ago in our department, and there were those in the department that said, we should not tell our students about our past. Um, we should not have them get caught up in, in our personalities. We are not there to present a personality. We are there to present them with information to stimulate critical thinking. I totally disagree with that. I feel that I am a product of my background. What I teach is a product of my experiences. But also, it must be put in context. I see something because of my past. And so when I talk to my students, I try to both explain to them my own background and who I am and how I come at the material I will be presenting them, but also how difficult it is to understand a tradition from the outside. Because when we talk about Christianity, many of them having been raised in a Christian, loosely in a Christian setting, they can at least somewhat relate to it. When I talk to them about Islam, well, all Muslims are terrorists, you know, or Hindus, they are all pagans, and they have a real and so I talk to them about the importance of being able to see a tradition, not only from the outside, but from the inside. And so one of the methods and one of the, s the things that I say to some of the students sometimes in the first day is I say, I want to tell you a little bit about my own background. I was raised as a pagan. I mean, I, I was, I'm sorry, I was raised as a cannibal. And they give me this look and I say, yeah, no, I will, <coughs> you know, um, I was raised as a cannibal. My parents, um, my mother especially, was a cannibal. And in our religious services, we ate flesh and we drank blood. And the students get these faces and kind of lean back in their chairs because they see I'm being very serious, because I'm being very serious. They say, yeah, and, and I said, and I, I saw nothing the matter with it. The, the priests, you know, the medicine men wore these black robes and um, and that this was was what we did. And I saw nothing about it. This was a cultural practice. And a religious and a religious and a cultural practice. And then I say to them, and if any of you were raised Catholic, you understand that because of the belief in transubstantiation, when you're taking communion, you're not eating bread, you're eating flesh. And when you're not drinking wine or nowadays grape juice, you are drinking blood. And then the students begin to get it. Not all of them. <laughs> I once had a student ask me, came up afterwards, and said to me, so uh, where were you raised, in New Guinea or something? <laughs> Any, anyway, so I, I tell that to, to, to show the students that how you look at a religion from the outside is very different from how you're going to see it from the inside. Um, is Hinduism polytheistic? From the outside, yes. Is Christianity polytheistic? Well, look at Catholicism. You go into a church and here's Mary and here's Joseph and here's this saint and here's this saint. Functionally, what is the difference between that and a Hindu temple? Functionally, nothing. From the outside, it's the same. And yet, if you ask a Hindu how many God, you know, is there one God? Say, of course. What are all these? These are all different forms of that one God. So how we look at a religion from the outside is very different than how we see it from within. So when I talk to the students about my own background, I say, so this is why I see things the way I do. Because of my Hindu background, because of my Catholic background, because of my exposure to Buddhism, and because of a belated interest in Judaism from out of coming really out of a desire to know that part of my heritage, I, s I see all these religions both from the outside in the scholastic study, but also I try to see them from within as well. And so what I'm trying to, what I try to present to my students is a combination of that. But clearly I have to let them know, to be fair to them, I have to let them know where I personally come in to all of this material.